Hi, this time we're going to check out Arclinux B. Awesome. So we, we, we create an ISO with a different kind of desktop environment that we're used to. Arclinux is XFC Openbox i3. But with Arclinux B scripts, uh, we can create a, any desktop on the ISO. So with, when this happens, it's some, sometimes interesting to show you guys. So super X and then log out again. VirtualBox is not that smart. And then go back in and there you go. We have a normal look. So that's your, uh, um, I just pressed Alt T to have a new wallpaper, but let me put the screen, screen key on. So this is the, this is awesome. It's an uh, window tiling manager. It's based on Lua. It's a little bit tricky in the sense that Lua is an, a difficult code, a difficult uh, language. And if something breaks, you have sometimes to figure out, hey, how does everything work? So it uh, might be more challenging than uh, i3 and BSPWM. But if everything works, of course, it's just awesome. I see a red icon up here, meaning that we need to do something. Control T. PKASUA, and let's have a look. Probably lots of updates that need to come in. And that's it. Let him do his job. We move on to page two or workspace two, tag two. And we are actually talking about arcalinuxd.com. Oops. So we can create in phase four, we can create an ISO. You can create an ISO, any ISO. We have full control about what goes on there and we give you everything to make your own ISO on the basis of the scripts. So Arc Linux B, I give you, uh, we give you a script and then you get an ISO with a desktop and the desktop is up to you. You have to choose what desktop you want to have on your system. So these are the guys we started with in Arc Linux, XFCE, Box i3. But then everything go, moves on with to awesome BSPWM, Budgie, Cinnamon. So still two to go, which is Mate and Budgie. Those have not been created yet, but all the rest can be downloaded even right now. Because if we click here and we scroll down, this is by the way, the standard startup screen you just saw earlier on. So if we want to just try it out and say, oh, let's have a look. Uh, let's not build everything, but let's just download and see how it feels. Then you have here awesome. And we created it the 30th of May. So 15 people already have downloaded it and tried it. And we will continue to update the Arch Linux ISO on which it is based, but also the awesome packages. So it will change, it will improve over time but it's not the, our intention that you download this, this here you can of course no problem but when we update the system when we update the scripts we'll make an ISO anyway to test it so why not put it on there so that's the idea but the thing is that um, the updates well the scripts will be always up to date if you follow this procedure you get an ISO and that's the very 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 last up to date ISO it, couldn't, it can't be more up to date, right? So this is awesome, right? Super F12. Oh, we see we have this LSB release thing that has been changing our systems. I mean, Control T, this is not our normal logo. We're an arch system. You know by now that if you followed the Facebook and all that, you know, if you look at the numbers, this is us, 24, I, but I think it has to increase. He's still calculating. No. Okay, so Arch Linux repo, this is the awesome ISO. 24 packages come from Arch Linux. These are probably AOR packages, uh, meaning that's around 900 and 1080, 1080 against 24. So these guys is not Arch and all the rest is Arch Linux. So we're definitely an Arch Linux based system. Uh, 90 or 95% is, is from Arch Linux. 
but this logo is uh, the result of an update on LSB release. Let's include it in the video as well. And etc LSB release. Okay. And what does it say? It says the application changed our name to Arch. And of course, new fetch says, hey, this is Arch. So I'll show the Arch logo. So if you say back again, hey, you're mistaking. It's actually just Arch Linux, control X. Okay, I think I did it. New fetch. All right, there you go, fixed. It's as easy as that. It's just an update that came in from LS LSB release. And he overwrote the text. We overwrite it again. Done. What else? Um, I don't know that I installed these funny things here, these pipes things. No, did not do that. But anything works. Um, what else is interesting? Super S. This is everything you could ever want to do. Um, awesome. I mean, all the shortcuts are here. Maybe the ones I use a lot is Super F1, Vivaldi Stable. Super F10, Spotify, Rofi, ah oh, yeah, sure. Another system, another menu to start, this one. I don't like this one, but it's there for other people, right? Super F12 is a smaller one, so I still see the wallpaper. It's a better thing. If you don't like the conky, you can kill the conky, kill all the conky. But next time you run or start again, it's gonna be there again. But for a screenshot, quickly kill it. Control T. Um, like this, you can change these things. All right, so this is awesome for you guys. Um, it just works out of the box, it's installed via Arch Linux B. Awesome! And then you just learn and learn. Where do you learn? You go to your Firefox, here it is, phase three. Awesome, awesome articles. And I don't know how much, but there's a lot of articles here. And sometimes these articles include two or three video tutorials. So lots of knowledge is in there. Go check it out. Cheers.